Good to see all of you today. So sit on the saddle of your horse and slightly transfer the weight from one foot to the other so that you feel rooted on one side. And let the energy rise from the roots up to the belly, dante into the other foot. And we're just going to gently rock from side to side. Palms face the earth. Inner thighs are hugging, shoulder blades are kissing, feel the inner smile. And I think I forgot to mute all. So I'm gonna mute all because that would be important. So just keep on doing what we're doing as I mute everyone. Let's see, participants, mute all, make sure that we stay muted. Good. Okay. Here we go. So I call this the rainbow because um, energy rises up the earth, up into the lower belly to the other side. And really, if you think of a rainbow, it's wide, it's open. It's beautiful, it's magnificent. And I learned this from Kat, my first Tai Chi Qigong instructor over 30 something years ago. I forgot how many years ago that was, but I just learned so much from her and I'm so grateful that she is my teacher again. So she's been my teacher off and on for over 30 years. And I'm just imagining energy rising from the earth through the belly into the earth again, like a wide rainbow between the legs, palms facing the earth. So we really want to feel the nourishment from the earth rising within and moving through the body. And now that you have it with the legs, then we're going to let the arms gently go from side to side, pushing off one foot energy into the belly and expressing itself through the fingertips. So it's a push off foot, belly, arms, fingers. And we're just gently swinging. Feet are rooted. And let the arm swing be as relaxed and as open as you would like. And give yourself love pats to the belly, lower dantian, and love pats to the kidneys, and the men. And we're going to release any tension, any worry off the fingertips. Anything does not serve you, let it go right now. And that's a real push off. So I want you to feel chi rises through the body and then expresses itself through the fingers from the earth, through the body, throughout the fingers. So chi flows through every part of us. And then give yourselves a pat on the back for tuning on Zoom today, joining your classmates. Lovely pat on the back. We all deserve a pat on the back. And then let the motion subside. And notice if you feel a little more alive a little more energy through the body. Sit on the saddle of a horse, gather a basket of unconditional love, shoulders are down, palms are open, and keep, look forward as one hand, the back hand faces the front hand. You're looking at the front, lao bun palm. The hips do not move. Come center, shoulders are relaxed, and go to the other side. So as you look at the front hand, your back hand is still giving chi to the front hand. Feel the opening of the chest and the spine. And as we go to the first side, we're going to release the basket, pick it up on the other side, release, and our song, love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, it comes right back to you. Stand and feel the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Oh, the breath of life flowing through you. Step back and one foot sink down. Foot rooted to the earth. The back hand and foot hand comes forward and behind you. The rotation, I'm on my left foot. So I'm feeling circulation in the left ankle, left hip, left shoulder, out the fingertips. Creating a beautiful rainbow through the sky. I want to conjure up some rain clouds and then let it become a beautiful rainbow. 
looking into the Laogan palm in front of you and behind you. And come upright and see if you feel a little different between both sides, the side that worked and didn't work. Step back, plant that foot down, gather chi up and paint a beautiful rainbow. The other hand can be at the qua of the other side, the hip. So the rotation in my right ankle, hip, shoulder, up the fingertips. And come upright and see if you feel a little more balanced on both sides. I certainly do. Soften both knees, thumb over middle finger, and like a kitten, wipe the whiskers and groom from behind. Let yourself curl like a kitty cat as you look at the earth and open to the heaven. So I'm rounding to the earth and I'm opening to the heaven. Do that a few more times. I'm going to change the screen a little bit. And then come upright. <sighs> Notice your breathing. Notice the energy and sensations in your body. Beautiful. We're going to bring the feet together. Visualize you have roots, the depth of your height. If you're five feet tall, six feet of roots. If, six, if you're six foot tall, middle finger at the kidneys, inner thighs hug, and let your tree dance in the breeze. We're really rooted, allowing the tree, and we've had a lot of wind the last couple days. So keep your feet rooted as you continue to circle without getting blown over. And come up and down along the spine and back and forth along the waist and go the other direction. Yesterday, I was supposed to teach my aqua qigong, but because of the wind, I canceled it. It was too windy to be out there. So let your body move like a tree in the breeze. The other direction. Feet are rooted, inner thighs are hugging, and the upper body is just flexible like a willow tree. And come center, one hand on the heart, the other hand over that, and smile into your heart. Smiling has a profound effect on the functioning of your organs, so smile deeply within. Ha, open your feet, shoulder, hip width distance as the hands are on the hip. If you come on the ball of the foot, you're going to feel where the hip goes in the socket at one tiao. Say one tiao. So we're at both one tiao's and then we're going to place your lao gun, say lao gun, over one tiao. And soften the knees and let the hips circle. Now when the hips are back, weight is more on the heels. Hips forward, weight on the toes. Hips to the side, weight on the side foot. So every joint in the body is fluid, especially the neck and jaw, fluid. Then massage one tiao, and massage the tail. And standing grace, hug his smile, feel the energies in your body, and then place the palms facing the floor. And we're gonna rock forward on the balls of the foot as you lift the heels, and back on the heels, you slightly lift the toes. We're just rocking forward and back a bit. Massaging the bottoms of the feet as you go forward on the ball of the foot and back on the heels, lift the toes. Then find the middle so you're equally balanced front and back. Now roll to the outside of the foot and roll to the inside and to the outside, only as far as is comfortable, never go into pain. Uh, and in, then find the middle so you're totally balanced in, out, forward and back. With roots to depth of your height, hands on one tail, soften the knees, we're going the other direction. Now, the feet stay rooted. We don't transfer the weight, but the rest of the body is again, as fluid as the willow. Circling every joint, but the feet are connected. And then rock the tail and massage where you need it the most. I know where I need it, so bring she where you need it. 
And then standing grace, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile, lovely. Bring the feet together again, feel the inner thighs hug. Bring the middle finger into the navel, lift in and up as you activate the core. And at the claw, we bend forward a bit. Spine is long, no weight on the knees because you're lifting the core. Hands place gently over the knees as you circle to one side. Get a nice circle, keep the core lifted. And massage the knees, loving energy to your knees. And go the other direction. And massage, and then keeping the inner thighs hugging, we're gonna lift the heels quarter of an inch and feel the weight on the ball of the foot, yong chen, say yong chen, and then go to the right. Circling on the ball and back to the heels. We're massaging the first point on the kidney meridian at the bottom of the foot, the ball of the foot. Then your allow gun comes in one tier. We go down the outside, brushing towards the ankles. Hands on the knees, lift the core. Again, come on your chin, go to the other direction on the ball of the foot, circling to the left. Then open your feet, shoulder, hip width distance. And we're going to draw a good shift the inside, the inside of the body, whisking it up. Feel the feet rooted, knees over the second toe. As the feet are rooted, then the tail roots, and then the core lifts, and we come back standing in grace. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Nice, lovely. Gather chi up from the earth. We're going to draw the chi up like a magnet from the roots through the legs into the lower dantian and smile. Now my palms are facing the belly. The thumbs are two inches apart. Index finger one inch apart and the hands are hovering about an inch so that your loud gone palms are giving good chi to the lower dantian. And smile and breathe into the core of your being. Then bring that smiling energy to the heart center, middle dantian, and elbows are straight to the middle finger to the other elbow. Shoulders are down, shoulder blades are kissing, but the palms are giving chi to the middle dantian. And really see the third fingers pointing to each other. And elbows, the same line as the third finger. Lovely. Then bring the third finger to the third eye, yin tan. As you relax your mind, breathing, middle finger, giving good chi to the third eye. Then the third finger comes to bike way at the crown. Interlaced fingers, giving more blood chi to the brain. Trying to make us smarter. Turn the palms over and keep the shoulders down as the arms lengthen up. The head is a sandwich in between your elbows. Then you're gonna bend the knees and tilt the hips forward as you go back and come upright. So we're just rocking the hips forward as you look at the head. And then we're gonna to go to one side as far as you can. Eyes, look at the interlaced fingers four times. Get that side stretch. Breathing into it. I like to breathe out as I go to the side. And breathe in center and go the other side. Your own breath rhythm, your own timing. And come center, and we're going to visualize we're unzipping a zipper, releasing stagnant energy out of the body and brushing it away. This is the cleansing, clearing of any tension in the chest, the heart, negativity, just whisk it away. And then come upright, hug his smile. Notice the breathing, and now we're going to bend using your mind, the palms and the eyes, 
and the breath face the earth. You're just sending the chi and the palms to the earth. Then your palms are going to draw chi up, bring it to the outside of your right heel and push it down using the mind to push the chi to the earth. And the hands will draw the chi up to the outside of the left heel. The body's totally upright, but more mind is pressing to the earth. And slide forward. Now at the quad, we're going to bend with the flat back, coming forward, facing the earth with the long spine. The palms will draw chi up the outside of your right heel. Draw chi up the outside of the left heel. Slide in the middle. And keeping the knees bent, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. The, the feet are rooted, the tail is rooted, and slowly the elongate the spine all the way up. Lovely. Now we're going to come down, rolling down. The head goes down, shoulders go down, belly is lifted, rounding. The head is so heavy, it's the first thing to go down and the last thing to come up. Okay, goes as far as it can, as heavy as you can be. Our hands will draw chi up knee height, the outside of the right heel, press down. Draw chi up the outside of the left heel, push down. Slide in the middle, bend the knees, roll up vertebra by vertebra. Feel the feet rooted to the earth, tail rooted to the earth, and at the very end, the head will come up. Nice. Then at the quad, we're going to bend. Barely bending, coming forward. We're activating the core. So you're just not going far, but you feel the work in the core. Then the hands would draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle and come upright. So you get a good workout when you're activating the core as we barely bend. And I really suggest if you're just learning the form, every time I say bend, only barely bend. So then you can look at the screen and see what I'm doing. That gives you the opportunity to get the work in the body while you see what's going on. Now the next time go beyond the barely bend, take your bend. Here you go. Enjoy your bend for the day. Breathe into it. Hands draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle and circle the arms down and out, whisking away negativity in the front of the legs. Then hold on to the elbows, circle the elbows down and out. Your loud and palms come to one tail, slapping down towards the ankles. And brush it down. And bend the knees for the feet rooted, tail rooted, come up vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way up, standing back in grace. Lovely. Notice the breath of life through your body. And open legs a little wider, sit back on the saddle. Put all the weight on one leg and the other leg straightens out, heel. Lift the core as you go over the bent leg. Take a flat back. No weight is on the straight leg on the side. Then go over the straight leg and warm up the leg as you warm up the spine. Hands over the thigh, elongate the spine, nose over the second toe. Index finger sink to the earth. Thumb index, middle finger sink. Ten finger sink. As you look between the first and second toe, if you can easily touch the toe, do so and not visualize the chin sinking towards your toe. Breathe into the stretch. And then slap from the top of the leg towards the heel, towards the ankle. The outer hand goes down. The inner hand draws the chi up. We're brushing. From the hip down and from the ankle up. And then come back center, bend the knees, roll up, feet are rooted, tail rooted, core is lifted, coming back into grace, hug the smile. And you're going to feel lopsided. One side's more stretched than the other. So sit back on the saddle of your horse and put all the weight on the back foot. Other leg, no weight. Go over the bent leg, put hand over the thigh, elongate the spine. 
So you get a stretch in the leg, the spine is elongating. Standing leg is bent over the second toe. And then you go over the straight leg and warm it up. Place the hands over the straight leg, over the knee, elongate the spine, nose over the second toe. Index finger sink to the earth, thumb index middle finger, ten fingers sink. If you look between the first and second toe, if you're flexible enough to touch between the big toe and the second toe, do so. If not, visualize chin sinking to the toe. This is not a competition, it's seeing where you can go easily. Breathe into it. Then give love pats from once you down. Outside hand goes down, inside hand draws chi up, brushing, whisking, and come back parallel, bend the knees, feel the feet rooted, tail rooted, core lifted, and slowly come back, standing in grace, hike his smile. Ah, hope you got a nice stretch, I certainly did. Bring the middle finger at Mink Men, soften both knees, put all the weight on. I'm putting all the weight on my left foot and I'm dragging my right toe in so my inner thighs are hugging. And if you need to hold on to a chair, do so, but I'm focusing and standing on one leg if I can. Hold on to something if you need to. And come down, step out, both knees are bent, draw the other toe in, feel the inner thighs hug, look at a point in the distance. I'm looking at the green dot on my computer as I do this. And come down and step out, standing legs still bent, still focusing on the green dot as they go across the body. And step up and out. Draw it in and go out across. And then we're gonna boot out your system. Anything is tense, negative. Shoulder blades are kissing, so you're very upright as you boot out through the heel. We're really getting the quad, activating the lymph nodes down there and go higher. Keep supporting the lower back, the kidneys, middle finger at Ming Man, and your lap on palms on your shin shoes. And then you're going to point the toe as you go across the body. And go higher if you're able. And standing, raise like a smile and see if there's more chi flow in your body. I certainly feel it. Lovely. Sit back on the saddle and let the hands draw chi up from the earth. Slowly from the roots through the legs into the lower dantian, smiling. Bring the chi up to the middle dantian, the heart center, smiling, sitting on the saddle of your horse. And we're going to open our arms and visualize we're in a beautiful circle. There are eight of us today. And we're opening our heart to this beautiful flock of geese that are here together. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows. The third finger, the heart protector, heart protector connects to each of us together. Filling our circle with unconditional love and healing light. If there's someone you're caring for, imagine they are in the middle receiving this healing. Visualize yourself standing in the middle, basking and receiving. Then gather chi back to yourself and give yourself a hug with this healing, wonderful energy. And then again, we expand the fingers and open the heart. All 10 fingers connect. Soften the elbows, soften the knees. As now, as each finger connects symbolically, we connect to all life force and all living beings. All of our channels are open. And our healing circle of love and healing is right there for us as we feel pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life.
And we send healing blessings to all beings on this planet. Everything that breathes receives this healing energy. Gather Chi back to yourself. Give yourself a hug as you receive. Then you're going to clap behind and then give yourself a, a hug over the shoulders. Clap and hug. And standing grace hug his smile. See if there's more Chi flow in the body. So I'm going to take my right arm, I'm going to wrap it around my neck, I'm going to take my left elbow, hooking the right elbow to the left side, head turns to the right as my right hand tries to touch the right ear, left hand faces left ear, lower the tail, lift the core, look over that right shoulder up towards the full moon, spiraling up towards the heavens, breathe into the stretch. And then push back, really stagnant energy, and then take your left arm. Let it wrap around the neck. Let the right elbow hook it to the right side. Head to the left as left hand rise to catch left hand. Right hand faces right here. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over that left shoulder up towards the full moon. Release, push back. Now I'm going to lunge with my left foot, bring my hips facing the left foot, bend that right elbow as the shoulder comes forward, up, back, down. I'm really opening up the shoulder. Forward, up, back, down, elbow is bent. And then I'm going to lengthen that right arm down and the hand goes keeping the shoulder down. I'm making bigger circles, opening that chest. And then reverse. Then the other shoulder comes back up, forward, down. Shoulder down, up, forward. And just let everything move. With the elbow bent, like a little locomotive train. Then lengthen that arm down and slice down. Okay, toe to toe, facing each other. Pivot on my right heel, facing the other side. Bend that left elbow, let the shoulder come forward, up, back, down. Really feel big shoulder circles. Way up to the shoulders, forward, up, back, up to the chin, as far as your shoulder can go. Then lengthen the arm and shoulder down. Keep the shoulder down as they lengthen and continue to open slowly. Really opening that chest. And reverse, bend the elbow, shoulder comes up, forward, down, back. Then lengthen the arm down, keep the shoulder down as you lengthen the arm. And then both arms are gonna flip flop to the right and to the left, over the shoulder and to the kidneys without moving my chest. My chest stays forward facing my right leg and the arms go around the spine. And release, pivot on the right heel, toe goes in, toe to toe, pigeon. Pivot on the left heel, bring the hips facing that left thigh. And again, keeping the chest where it is, the arms go around the body to the shoulders and the kidneys. And step back and see if there's more chi flow in your body. I feel such a buzz in my body and you're looking so good. Ah, bring the third finger to Ming Men. Say Ming Men, the kidney point. And then the both sides, Shen Shu over the kidneys, Shen Shu. Then dab bow, the side of the breast, side of the ribs, as high as your nipples, that's where dab bow is. Circling with the whole palm, your lao bun's really giving a nice massage to as high as your breasts around there. The shoulder blades really kiss as you do that. Then we come to the lymphatic at the quad. 
And the rest, we're actually going to sit down so it'll be easier to see what I'm talking about. And if you need to drink something, this is the time. And then we're going to take the index finger at the U of the collar. And then the thumb goes to the end of the collar bone. Then we find the middle of each bone, which should be directly over the nipple. Index finger hooks on top at Chwepin, say Chwepin, it's like a hanger. So it's as wide as your nipples. Don't bring it any closer than where your nipples are. And then thumb goes below at Chwepin. No, Chwepin above and Chihu below. <laughs> and these points are good for cough, asthma, sore throat, and hiccups, and move those gosling wings. It's a chi door to your lungs. And you'll feel that it really, you can smell more. You can really, it opens everything up. I'm making chicken soup for my husband, and I smell it. So I know I've opened it, I'm opening this up. Okay, our next point we're going to take, uh, let's do Laogan. So we put the thumb inside and we're going to gently press in as you breathe into Laogan. And breathe out as you relax. Laogan on the heart protector. Slow relax, breathing into the belly. On the breath out, release as it calms the mind, strengthens the heart, regulates the heartbeat. And the other side, it's very calming. A good thing to do at night if you're having problems going to sleep. Gently breathe, press in. And then that long, slow, long release, breath out. Every time I do that, I want to go take a nap. So let's move on. <laughs> Thumb, between the thumb and index fingers are hegu, say hegu. We're going to press your hegu, breathe in. And release the gentle pressure on the breath out, hegu on the large intestine meridian. It's good for cleansing and clearing the body of toxins. Helping for dehydration, problems with elimination. And the other side. Your own breath rhythm. Three finger scouts on and we go below the wrist line. One, two, three, where the third finger is, we put the thumb at Neguan, say Neguan. And the other finger will go behind it, Wagwan. But as we focus on your Neguan, gentle pressure, breathe in. Gently release on the breath out. Again, on the heart protector for anxiety, but it's really good if you're feeling queasy and uneasy. And the other side, three finger scouts on with the inner point neck one, and we're going to focus on the outer point wagwan, say wagwan. So we gently press, breathe in, release, breathe out.
Okay. With my left thumb, I'm going to touch my right thumb and I'm going to go along my right bone at the arm till they come to the crease of the elbow. Cheese it, say cheese it. Cheese it on the lung meridian. Good for any breathing problems and tendonitis. Then we go beyond the tendon, before the elbow bone to the large intestine probiotic point, helping to increase good flora in your gut. And the other side, my right thumb follows the left thumb all the way to the crease of the elbow, gently press in. Release on the breath out. Go beyond the tendon to the probiotic point. Gentle pressure, breathe in slow. Gentle breath, release out. Okay, raise your right arm. Take your left hand under the right arm. Take your right thumb under the left baby finger. So Eleanor, put this hand down. So yes, you're here. So you feel an ow or dow bow. Don't press hard, but give it love and go to the other side. Left hand is up, right hand under the armpit, left thumb under right baby finger to your ow, to your dow bow. And then give loving energy from Laogon to Daobao. Ah, strengthen the heart, strengthening the breast, the chest, the lungs, strengthening our immune system. It's a good thing to do. And as you do this, your shoulder blades kiss and it brings more oxygen into your lungs as well. Ah. And then I come back to the groin. <coughs> the qua and come to again lower dantian so i have my lao gan over lao gan over the lower dantian as i smile going so slow that my hands are like a magnet drawing the chi for wooly willy the electromagnetic game we had as a kid where we took that that magnet to slowly move the shades of metal around. And that's what we're doing. We're moving the chi and the dantian. Let's just smile into it. I wanna see smiles. And the, just rest the hands on the thighs, notice the breathing. Mm. Lovely. Now for our knee points. So we make a right angle between the thumb and index finger. We bring it on top of the knee with that right angle, but then I'm going to just tilt that whole template in so I can touch the shin bone. And then when I know that level, then I tilt it back to the right angle. And with that third finger in is Zhu San Li. Say Zhu San Li. It's on the stomach meridian. It's good for digestive problems, knee pain. And as we see this right angle, if I do another right angle just below the knee, it's the same spot. Below the knee, four fingers, it's the same spot. I can find it either above the knee with the right angle or below the knee with the middle fingers touch. That is your Zeus on So I'm giving you different ways of finding this, either this way or 
below and they both come to that same place. So if, if there's a little indentation and um, it is very helpful for digestive problems. So now we're gonna take that hand above the knee. So we're, before we were below the knee, now we're above the knee and where the third finger is, that is your Liang Shu. So we want to have the hands above the knee. The hands are just Lao Gan is over Liang Chu and it rests over the kneecap. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. And we're breathing from your Lao Gan into Liang Chu. And this is a place of sitting meditation in the wild goose form. So to, we're going to now get into a little meditation. So you're going to open the palms and you're going to gather chi out and up to the heaven. And collect that heavenly light slowly, slowly as it comes down over the crown, illuminating all the brain cells over to the third eye. And as you come to the third eye, you're looking at your middle finger with your eyes. And as you get to the nose, the eyes start to get a little heavy. As you get to the mouth, the eyes are heavier. Get to the throat, eyes are heavier. Get to the heart, eyes are very heavy. As you get towards the lower Dantian, the eyes are shut. And then the palms, Lao Gan on the Yang Chu, place we had just been. And you rest the palms there. As the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. We're going to take six slow breaths through the nose into the lower Dantian. Even slower breaths out. Tongue touching upper palate like you're saying the letter L for love. Jaw relaxed. Keeping the eyes closed, massage the palms together. Feel bubbling springs getting warmer. And then we're going to wash face, comb hair with the hands over the chin, the nose, the third eye to the crown, then opening the elbows down the back of the head. And if you have any cold or negative energy to release, do that the first three times. We're cleansing and clearing the pathways around. And then four continuous circles protecting a protective halo around you. Go slow enough to see if you can feel the chi in the palms moving the chi beneath. Last time. And then trickle the chi down the spine, down, 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 down. Again, resting the hands, the lavan palms over the knees. And gently open your eyes. And even though we've only done a couple minutes, I hope you feel more at peace, inner peace of doing this. So this time we only did six breaths, but if you were to do six minutes, 15 minutes, half hour, whatever you can build it up to, 
the more chi you will receive and the calmer your mind will be as you strengthen body, mind, spirit, all the organs of the body. Okay, next point. Over the ankle, three fingers over the ankle bone. Then the thumb right over that to Sanyin Jiao. Sanyin Jiao, where kidney, liver, spleen come together. And this is the point where when we lift up to the full moon, which we're going to be learning today, we're going to gather chi with Lao Gan to that point. And then we'll pass it by. So I'll teach it in a moment, but I just want you to know the point that you're going to give chi to. Let's go to the other side. So three fingers above the ankle, thumb above that, gently giving massage. You don't have to press, but just give chi. And then on the form, then that leg, that finger, those hand goes above the collar and weapon. And then we create a great big circle and then we'll bring it down. Actually we open to the full moon, but I'll teach that in a minute. We'll bring chi to that point of the leg and then it passes by. So in a moment, I'm gonna teach that, but I just want you to know the point that we're giving chi to. And then um, let's get the points of the Lao Gan under the elbows. We're going to rock forward and back. So I'm over my left foot and my Lao Gan palm is going slow enough, like we did the etching sketch, go, or not the etching sketch, but the willy willy. We're moving the chi slow from the elbow underneath, neguan and waguan, passing by, rocking forward and back. So we're giving yourself a chi massage. Visualizing the chi moving along all these acupressure points. She go forward and back. And the more you visualize in time, you'll actually be able to feel it. So that when we come back, my left hand will come to the left weapon above the collar. And then my left foot is out. I'm going to, with my right hand, give chi to the left foot, the right foot, all the way up. And then the light in the right hand goes down to the foot, to the bottom of the foot. I mean, that's what I forgot to do at the bottom. But if you can get to the bottom of the foot and in between the first and second toe, find that point. My knee's bent here. I'm not doing it with a straight leg. My thumb is between the first and second toe on the ball of the foot and the third fingers beneath between the ball and second foot and the ball. So I'm feeling that point. And then I flap the wings three times or push forefoot three times, moving the shoulders, moving the waist, opening, doing a sort of a backstroke here. And then I push the chi out, come back center, slowly draw chi up to right hand over right weapon. Put my right foot out. I'm gonna, my left hand will give chi to the right foot, the left foot, all the way up to tada upright. The light in the left hand is shining upon the right foot. And my thumb is between the thumb and index, uh, big toe and second toe middle finger at Yong Chin, the bottom of the foot, and either I flap the wings or I circulate the right elbow doing a backstroke. And then the foot comes parallel as I push the chi out one foot far, bring that hand back center, draw the chi up, with the left hand and I'm going to give chi to the center channel. Right hand goes to the left, to the belly and give chi to the heart three times. Once, twice. On the third time, I'm on the left foot, my right hand and foot go out. My right baby tub comes out right hand midway, looking at the palm, look all the way behind, look forward, palm up. Right hand go to Shenshu, step on the right foot, left hand and foot go forward, waist high, look at the palm. Look all the way behind, look forward, pump up. Right hand, left hand go to Shenshu, step on the left foot, right foot and hand go forward, waist high. 
all the way behind you. Look at the palm. Look forward, palm up. Right hand into Shenshu, step on the right foot, left foot comes forward, open to the side, right arm to the side, come on the ball of both feet. We're seated, but we're imagining we're doing that. Turning from the waist, right hand at the third eye, left hand at the tail. Then the left palm goes forward, they come on the right foot, left comes up to the third eye, right hand at the waist, like I'm giving myself. And then lift the elbow and push down. As I push the hand down the center channel, past the belly, my left hegu comes to one tail, my right foot and hand go forward, hand, shoulder height. Single wing. Look all the way behind you with your right hand behind you. Look forward, palm up, right hegu to shenshu. As I step on the right foot, I lift the left elbow up, the left foot up. Left baby toe touches forward, left baby finger touches the waist. And with my right hand going, I'm gonna wrap from the kidneys to the side, to the navel, under the palm, to the shoulder, to the ear, behind the back of the head, to the right ear. And what we learned last week was push down. I come midway with the right hand. The left hand comes up as high as my chi hu. I'm blocking chi hu because it's in front one and a half foot far. Bring my right lao gun forward. I'm gonna rock forward on the left foot, right hand up facing my right, chuapan and shihu. My left palm, hegu faces wan tiao, lao gun faces wan tiao. Right hand will create a claw as I come on the right foot, left comes up to the third eye. And that's where we ended last week. Now for the next point, are you ready? We, this is called well, when you come up, it's called restoring chi. When you bring come up, so you're over the collar. Now, the next part is called drag moon from the water. So as I turn my head to the right, my right hand reaches up to the full moon and my left hand comes to the ear. My right hand brings the chi to the left inner ankle. I'm bending forward with the right hand over the left inner ankle and the left hand comes to the third eye. Then I'm gonna turn my head to the left over my left shoulder with my left hand facing my right ear and my right hand coming to the third eye. I've just dragged the moon out of the water. Now I'm gonna pivot on the left heel facing forward, left hand at the belly. And this is hard to do seated, but I step on the right foot. I'm turning to the back, right hand at the third eye and left hand go at Wan Tiao. That is turning around, facing the back. And then we close. So that's very weird to do seated. So we're gonna do this part standing now, <laughs> but hopefully, and that is really the hardest part in the whole form, especially learning it online. So don't worry if you don't get it today. Let's go. Um, so let's see, we're going to go single wing, right hand, right foot. Look all the way behind you with the right palm, palm up, look forward, right hand with chin chin. I'm going to lift the left elbow, left toe, to left toe touches, left hand touches the waist. Right hand's going to wrap from the kidneys to the side, over the belly, under the left hand to the shoulder, to the ear, behind the back of the head, to the right ear. That's wrap head to ear. And now as I push down with the right hand midway, left hand comes up as high as my chi hu, right hand go at one tia. Then I rotate my shoulders to the right palm, rotates forward, and I'm gonna rock forward on the left foot as my right hand gives chi to my right chi hu, one and a half foot far. My left Lao Gong is facing Wan Tiao. Then my left Hegu faces Wan Tiao. Lao Gong faces Wan Tiao. Then I trade, create a claw with the right hand, come over the right collar, a weapon, left hand comes up to the third eye. Now, turn the head to the right, look at the full moon over the shoulder as the left hand comes to the ear. Bend the right knee as your hand draws the chi down to the full moon's water, to the left 
inner ankle. So I'm giving chi to the inner ankle, turning the head to the left. My right hand is chi to the third eye. My left hand's at the ear. Come on your left heel, toe to toe pigeon. The body's now midway up and the left hand comes to the belly. Keep the weight on the left foot. As I face the back, opposite direction, I'm on my right heel, right hand to the third eye. And I step up on the right foot, lift the left elbow, left toe touches forward, left hand faces the left. Um, oh, we weren't doing it, we are just turning around. That's enough, just turn around. <laughs> we're not gonna do the next step until next week. That's enough. So we're gonna do now, looking at the full moon and get those two movements, only those two movements. I'm on the right foot, Left toe touches, right hand at Schwepp and left hand at the third eye. Turn the head as I look at the full moon. Left hand at the ear. Bend the right knee. The right hand gets chi down to the left inner ankle. Left hand at the third eye. Turn the head to the left, right hand at the third eye. Now come on the left heel toe to toe and the body comes midway and the left hand over the belly. Keep the weight on the left foot as you come all the way up facing behind you. We've turned around and that's as far as we're going today. And step up and close. So we're gonna do that one more time. So I'm on the right foot, uh, right hand at Schwepp and left hand forward, left hand at the third eye. I'm gonna look at the full moon. Turn the head to the right. The right hand reaches the full moon, left hand comes to the ear. Bend that right knee as the right hand gathers chi with a flat back out to the side, to the ankle, towards the ankle, that hand at the third eye. Then turn the head to the left as my right hand is chi to the third eye. My left hand is giving chi to my ear, my right ear. Come on the left heel, toe to toe. As I come toe to toe, my body comes up midway, left hand at the belly. Then I'm going to keep the weight on the left foot as I pivot on the right heel, facing all the way to the back, and all the way up facing the opposite direction, right hand at the third eye, left hand goes at one tia. And step up and close, and that is the end of the lesson for today. And uh, just repeat it as much as you need to with the recorded class. And we're gonna go from the beginning to the end with music. And um, thanks for joining the lesson and let's get a little music on.
Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. See you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. Okay.